Piers Morgan has called out GB News during a new interview aired today. It comes as the presenter is geared up for his return to viewers screens after a year hiatus from television after he sensationally quit Good Morning Britain after a row over Meghan Markle. The 57-year-old has continued to escalate his feud with GB News presenter Nigel Farage, who he branded a treacherous, disingenuous little snake. Speaking about his new self-titled program, Piers Morgan, uncensored, the talk TV host admitted he has no intentions of letting down network owner Rupert Murdoch. Ahead of this, the outspoken journalist hit out at GB News, the TV network launched in June last year. Piers has since claimed that he plans to flatline the rival station. Speaking on the Chris Evans breakfast show, the former GMB presenter did not hold back. Addressing his new interview with Donald Trump, the presenter revealed it came to a dramatic end. He admitted he was surprised the former president had decided to go ahead with the interview after not hearing from him for a long time. Piers explained that two weeks ago he had flown out the whole of his team to do the chat with Trump but was warned there was a problem. He said, Trump's advisers showed me this three-page document of all of the worst things I had said about him in the past year and a half. It was me calling him a monster, gangster and a mob boss and saying he should be remembered from office. H is a narcissist, all this kind of stuff, all of which I meant at the time. All of which I would stand by over his behavior at the time. But it was a little awkward given I was about to do an interview with him. Piers explained that he was summoned to Trump's office who peered over the document and read aloud everything the outspoken journalist had previously said about him. Trump began raising his voice, allegedly swearing at the broadcaster and he had become very angry, Piers surmised. The ex-GMB host was convinced the interview would be cancelled and it was a whole waste of time and money. Piers questioned who had sent Trump the document where he called out the former president. So we put on our Miss Marple hat and we discovered that Nigel Farage who works for this lowly, so-called rival network called GB News, who are going to flatline by the way, he had dinner with Trump at Mar-a-Lago Club, three days before I got there, Piers explained. He went on, when Farage got an interview with Trump I sent him text saying, well done. When I get one, he goes back to the office in London, sends Trump a three-page document to ruin my interview. H has admitted it and boasted about it. Piers finished, it's a strange thing to boast about because now you've declared war on us. His comments come after Piers became embroiled in a Twitter spat with GB News presenter and former Brexiteer Nigel. The former GMB host released a video showing Nigel criticizing his supposed friend Trump and calling the former president angry and one-geared. Piers had initially tweeted the recording after Nigel branded his latest sit-down with the former U.S. president as fake news. It comes after Trump released an audio recording that seemingly refuted an edited video clip that appeared to show him storming out of a sit-down interview with Piers which is set to air tonight. The talk TV host later tweeted, No niche, you've been exposed as a duplicitous two-faced weasel and frankly, I dread to think what you've been saying in private about Trump behind his back if this is how you so disloyally attacked him in public. In view of his 1.6 million followers, Nigel replied, Oh dear, this is very desperate stuff. Time for the men in white coats. Over and out. Meanwhile, Piers' swipe at GB News comes just days after he enjoyed a meal with the network's breakfast presenter and former ITV colleague Eamon Holmes.